Good morning, brothers and sisters of the hood. I'm out here solo today. Big John's got some family in town, I think, from Indiana. And they are actually down in, in southern Florida to visit their other kids and grandkids. Daytona Beach, right back there. I am headed for a natural reef today. It's supposed to be kind of strong easterly winds. Right now, it's not too bad. No white caps. I've seen a couple flyers on the way out. I'm about 15 to 18 miles out. I've seen a couple flyers, so that means we might be in Mahi land. We'll see. Maybe Colby land. Water temperature is 75 degrees. Not too bad. Not too bad. I thought it was going to be rougher than this right now. It was a rough ride out, but should be okay going back in because I'll be going with the waves. All right, I'm about ready to deploy the old Minn Kota up there. Put the old spot lock on. And I'll get back to you when I get things set up. We'll see if we can catch something. Well, this is first drop down. Put a couple shrimp on, looking for some grunts for bait. Not sure if this is a grunt or what. Look at there, a vermilion snapper. Close to keeper size, close to keeper size. First fish to the boat. This could be a good day, folks. Could be a good, good, good day. Can't hardly get my hand around him. He's a big one. Ouch. Sharp spin, thin spines on him too. 13 inches, thank you, Lord. First drop down, first fish of the day, Vermilion Snapper. Woo. Just on shrimp. Hallelujah. Ha <laughs> ha. Number two, and I don't think this is a grunt either. I'm going to have to, if I load up on trigger, or triggers, if I load up on vermilion, I'm going to have to go, there's a grunt, that's a grunt. All right, I'm going to call that bait. I'd like some smaller ones, but if I limit out on vermilion early, I might go the reef where I catch those big old trigger fish but I'd like to stay here to this natural area and drop these cams down when the Sun gets up a little higher but you know there could be some interesting stuff down there very interesting very very interesting well I got company way out here it's a little bit bigger boat I'm still using shrimp catching a few grunts here and there doesn't feel like Mr. G. Little G. This is looking like Mr. Trigger. And Mr. What the heck is that? Oh, oh. I caught my other line too. I got a line down. That's what triggers do. They go around in circles. They catch you other lines. Something with some bones in them. Let's hope it's not Mr. Red Snapper. I'd like to have a trigger fish for the cooler. Come on, come on. Kind of feels like a trigger. Awful light colored. And there's two of them. Oh, it's a oh, it's a red snapper and a trigger fish. <laughs> A little trigger and a little red snapper. A little trigger and a little red snapper. Whoop! Red snapper got off, but the trigger fish didn't. That's how circle hooks work sometimes, folks. They're self releasing. Little trigger. I need a bigger trigger. Not the little trigger. This feels just like Mr. Snapper. He hit hard. He tried to pull down. Yep, Mr. Red Snapper. And that's very big. I'm going to have to move. I'm going to go find that shelf. It's around here somewhere. I'm not over it, and I want to get right over it. Get off there. There you go.
All right. This was a floating, a floating sardine. Let's see what we got here. And I don't think it's a shark sucker. It's not huge. It's not peeling off line. I see it down there. It looks like a little blue runner. Blue runner. I guess I can consider that as bait. Bait. A blue, 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 blue. runner. He sure liked my sardine. Ah, I think I'm just going to let him go. Just going to let him go. I'm not interested in catching Goliath grouper today. Bye. Okay, this is not a shark. And it was on a whole grunt. No, I'm pretty sure it's not a shark. Got those head shakes like a snapper. Got the head shakes like Mr. Snapper. My goodness. If I have to go chase you down, I will. Come on back this way. No, he says, I'm going over this way. That's the way I want to go, he says. I said, No, come on back here. I'm pretty sure I'll let you go. Because I don't think you're a gag grouper or a grouper of any sort. Come on. That's a big guy. Nice big guy. Got some good strength to him. That's a lobster boat, folks. That's a lobster boat. He's out here getting his traps. Setting his traps and getting his traps, I guess. I don't see this guy yet. Come on. Come on, come on. Let me see what you are. <laughs> Get my glove all dirty with this line. I'm taking it easy today, folks. Just me and the Lord and the rest of you 100,000 people out there. Lord's blessing me. I love being out here alone a lot of times. It's peaceful. Serene. It's kind of like, you know, in the Bible it says you go into your closet and close the door to get personal with the Lord. I come out here, not as personal as you can get. Okay, let's see what you are. Come on. I'm pretty sure I know what you are. Uh, yeah, I see you there. A great big mutton snapper. No, probably not. But I am out in mutton territory. But this isn't one of them. This is just a great big Mr. Red Snapper. Yeah, and I got him by the lip. I got him by the lip. Got him by the lip. On the outside of the lip. Big guy, big guy. I'll let you go. I don't want to poke a hole in you if I don't have to. Gosh, these big old circle hooks are hard to get out. Now, I do mean hard to get out. All right, going down. Go on down. Kick, kick. 
Looks like I'm going to have to vent this guy. Well, I've caught a couple little trigger fish and big old lane snapper right there. But so far, no more vermilion snapper. We got Bible study tonight, and it would be nice maybe to take a bunch of vermilions. That's just a little red snapper there. Just a little guy. I haven't found the shelf exactly out here. Kind of hard to find when you're in 80 feet of water. 80 feet of water. I'll try again. Well, I just threw a red snapper back. And I got something on the on the all-American pole. It had a sardine out back there. Probably just another blue blue runner. I don't think it's very oh uh, or a uh, shark sucker. <laughs> No, folks, that's not a cobia. That's a shark sucker. And there's another one right behind him, a little guy. Just messing with my pole, messing with my line. Little guys. Little guys. Some people say they might be good to eat. But it's kind of like figuring out whether or not you want to eat a snake. I think I'll pass for now. I'll pass for now. Well, I've moved about six times looking for a spot where there might be some more fish. Got some black sea bass and little triggers. Little black sea bass, undersized. I'm looking for the bigger black sea bass that I can keep. What have I got here? Oh, I got a couple, two, no, one vermilion. And one red snapper. And I don't think that beeliner is going to be big enough. But he's close. I'm going to see he's close. That will only be my second beeliner in a couple of hours since I've been here. Oh yeah, he's fat. This is a fat one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, let's see. Bless me, Lord, with this one. Oh yeah. Uh, oh no, maybe not. Let's see here. Nope. Eighth of an inch, too short. <laughs> That's all right. At least we caught another one. Boys and girls, we got a screamer on here. He's got a lot of the line there, too. <laughs> Let me go up here. Oh, I'd like to get that other line off of there. Look at him go! <laughs> oh, my. He's going to spool me. Oh, broke off. Sure like to know what that was. Almost spooled me. Messed my lines up, but that's okay. Boy, I'd love to see what that was. Holy moly. <laughs> Well, anybody care to guess what that was that just almost spooled me? I really don't think it was a king. Because he kept on going. Wasn't a shark. And it wasn't this here red snapper. I'm thinking Wahoo. I'm thinking Mr. Wahoo. Big Wahoo, and I couldn't turn, couldn't slow down. You like Mr. Freight Train? Anybody care to guess? All right, here we go again on the back line. This is something a lot smaller. I don't know what this is, but 
He's not running like any kind of a pelagic. It is kind of lazy, actually. On the All-American pole, I think I might have caught my first shark. I'm getting ready to move anyway. We've got Bible study tonight, and I need to start heading in. Yep, feel like Mr. Shark. Don't see anything yet. If it is Mr. Shark, go ahead and bite through the line. Light colored. Could have been a red snapper come all the way up here to get. <laughs> red snapper came all the way up to mid column to get this sardine. Sardine. That's a good size red snapper, about 20. About 20 inches. I see that hook down there. Ah, you miserable thing. You miserable thing. There you go. Got everything all salty. Oh well.